In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome countdown effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating brand new text. So I'm gonna press the T icon up here. We'll select the black video and we can just type out a number. So I'm just gonna type out zero. Now I'm gonna go back to the cursor tool and I'm just gonna center this up in the center of the video. Now from here, I'm gonna go up into effects and presets and search for slider control. Now with slider control selected, you just wanna drop that on to your number that you just generated. And as you can see, if I increase or decrease the slider control, it's not doing anything. So if we set this back down to 0%, we can go into the number and we can go ahead and adjust all of the settings in the text itself. So from here, I'm gonna pull this window up just a little bit, just so we can see what we're doing. We'll go into this drop down arrow here. We'll go into text, and then we'll also open up effects. Now in effects, you want to pull down the slider control, and then inside of the text, you've got source text. Now from here, you want to parent the source text to the slider control setting. So we're going to drag and hold this pick whip tool, and we're gonna drop that onto slider. Now, if I increase the slider, you'll notice that the numbers start to change. So if we go all the way to the very beginning, we set the slider back to zero, create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon and move over a few seconds to the right and we increase the slider. Now, if I go back to the very beginning and I play this back, you'll notice that the numbers aren't round numbers. We've got decimal points and this is just not what we need. So playing through 2.5, move one keyframe to the right, we've got 2.8125, we've got 3.125, and it's just a little bit messy. So we need to go ahead and we need to add some expressions to the title layer. So we're gonna go into the source text, we're gonna open this up by pressing the drop down arrow. So once you've opened up the source text and you can see the expression just on the right of After Effects, you want to go ahead and edit the expression. So you want to double click the expression window, go to the very beginning of this and you want to type out math.round open bracket. So capital M. So math.round, we want to remove the closed bracket. So delete that one there. We'll go to the very end of the expression and you want to add a closed bracket. Now it's very tempting once you've added that closed bracket to press enter to get out of this. But the problem is if you press enter, then you're going to add another line underneath that expression and we don't want to do this. So select anywhere outside of this expression box and that will complete the expression for you. So now if we play this back, there we go. It is now only using round numbers rather than decimal points. So from here, if you wanted to do a countdown effect, all you would have to do is just reverse the keyframes. So at the moment, we've got a keyframe at the beginning at zero, and then four seconds in, this is set to 30. So just swap these keyframes around. And as you can see, we've got a countdown from 30 to zero. But of course, if you wanted this countdown to be in real time and you wanted the numbers to change every second, then what you want to do is pull the first keyframe to the very beginning, you want to pull the second keyframe to a whole number. So let's go to five seconds. We'll pull the second keyframe over to the cursor. We'll go to the first keyframe and we'll set this to five. Now that's gonna change every one second and we've got ourselves a countdown. Now the really awesome thing is because we've done this effect on a text layer, we can go ahead and we can change the font of this countdown. So if you select the title layer, go into your character window you can go ahead and change the font to anything that you like. And there you go, that is how you do the digital countdown effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.